Right, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have a Scooby Doo how I'm gonna do this. Yeah, that'll do it. Look at this dude. Watch this. I put a hole in. I put okay. I put a hole in the wall. I better look like an absolute geek. Like, eh, eh. But I feel like Move I'm champion. I'm not gonna lie, boys. I have done a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of broken sword runs over the years. And since then, I've made a name for doing them in the Dark Souls community. And alongside this, recently, I've been delving into even more challenger runs, but this time, more physical ones, such as a DK Bongo run or a blindfolded run. And I've always wanted to bridge these two together, but I just didn't know how, until I was sent a blacksmith Dark Souls broken sword by a fantastic fan. And ever since it arrived, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I'm not the most tech savvy guy, and I didn't know how to electrically wire up a sword to be a controller. So I had the genius idea of just doing this instead. Everything was now ready, and I set off on yet another Dark Souls broken sword run, but this time in real life. Back, back, go. This is not a real sword. I'm not gonna hurt myself even if I tried. It is a blunted. It is blunted. And then. Oh, I don't give a shit about NATO! The fucking dirty bastard. Yes! Indeed. Oh, wait, she's not gonna say yes, indeed, is she? Yes. Yes, indeed. You rise. Oh fucking god. You guys think oh Lenny, it's not gonna work. Watch. I'm not fucking joking guys. I am not gonna lie guys, yeah, it's 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 really brute force. I could there's probably people out there who could have wired up some sort of electrical signal and made it really professional. Do I look like a fucking professional? You can see you're getting ready to serve, and what I hope. Doing this run with a Wii Remote really wasn't that much of a bad idea, but it did leave us vulnerable to some problems with the Wii Remote, such as running out of batteries. Oh, what the fuck? Hey! I don't believe this. The run was finally underway. However, the first hour or two of the Broken Sword run is really boring. All it is is just run around and collect shit for like an hour. So I'm gonna save us all some time and I'm just gonna cut through this. I want a little fucking Dark Souls adventure. I don't give a fuck. Should've got a Wii Motion Plus. I did. And it doesn't even, it, if I put a Wii Motion Plus in, it doesn't recognize it. Look, think of a lot of things. I've tried it all. This is, a, this is the same crusty ass Wii Remote and crusty ass nunchuck I used when I was like 12. I bought a new one over there. It's right there, I can see it now. And it didn't work. Oh, she's fucking gorgeous. Oh, come over here and give me a little. <laughs> How did you fuck that up? Don't stand there like a melon. Oh, shit. Oh. Do you honestly think you're fucking funny? With the Divine Ember, all we needed now was one green titanite, and the adventure could finally and truly begin. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. It's kind of, I might have swung a bit too hard there. On the plus side, I am confusing the fuck out of this hollow. Can nunchucks drift? <laughs> well, ask yourself another question. It's a Nintendo product. Does it drift? You can fuck off, though. I wonder what this guy has to say for himself. You, prick, fuck off. Oofus. <laughs> go, 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 go. Stop! No, don't swing, don't swing. And with this, we could finally start doing some bosses. I'm getting Solaire because the funny text of speech. And also, if we really need it, I don't know how Gargoyles is gonna go, but if we really need it, Solaire can help. Oh, oh, I cannot see this room far from. I am Asta's son. The sun is incredible, like a big dad. What do you mean, like a big dad? The Gargoyle fight was a nice warm up. Now, usually 
Broken sword fights in Dark Souls 1 take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, no joke, you'll see later. What was a problem however, which you might have seen so far, is the sensitivity of the swing is ridiculous. I do fix this later in the video, but for now, it was extremely uncomfortable to hold stiff and still like me cock. <laughs> Okay, don't, don't Lenny, edit in this video, don't, don't cut that joke. Anyway, the point was it was extremely uncomfortable and heavy to hold, especially when I was using a broken arm on top of the broken sword. And I broke my arm when I was a kid, and I can't touch my own elbow. I've got like, I've got like metal in my arm. I can't touch my own elbow. But what, what I've lost there, I kind of made for by going there. I can't, guys, I can't do the Macarena. I can't do the Macarena for fuck's sake. My life's a joke. You should sprint behind them and hit. Oh, Unicorn Sensei, I didn't realise you've done a real life broken sword run. Oh shit. Go. Go. Yes! 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 Oh shit! Go. Oh! We had finally defeated our first boss. And yeah, even though it's nothing compared to the later fights of a solid 20 minutes, it was a big moment for us because it proved to me that this was possible now. Ladies know what I'm on about. Men are unstable. Ding dong, baby. Ding dong. I hope you've been showing your pussy tonight, baby, when you get fucking naked as you're using your pussy. We've got a bit of a cheeky boy down here. He's been that bad boy. What I usually do is kick him off. How do I kick? If I press forward and attack at the same time, shit. Yeah, but get it, mate. You're fucking swinging your... Go on, swing your sword one more time. I'll fucking brick your fucking face. Oh! We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Oh! This is for Rachel, you big, fat, white, nasty, smelling, fat bitch. I'm coming Why up there and I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you, bitch. Oh, the oh, the oh, 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 body oh, ass bitch. Oh, I'm coming up there and I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. This is a PG 13 show. I can't be showing Gahonka bunkers. Oh, gross. Oi! What are you looking at, son? You're looking at titties on the internet again, I see. As you guys can see, this damage coming up is that this is now going to be our first 20 minute fight. All with a broken sword. And it's going to be literal fucking hell. Literally, you, you as well, coming back late at night, stinking of booze, stinking of cigarette smoke. Where's your fucking time to call this? Fuck off. Not coming back to me, stinking of booze and smoke. You've been shagging other lasses. Fucking arsehole. Day two. Day two was set to be the big day. All the prep is done, and now it's time to get serious. Stanky shuffle. Stanky shuffle. You're an absolute sexy beast. Oh my god, Pat. <laughs> you just. Pat's just reminded me of a story, right? <laughs> so when I was. Uh, how old was that? I think I was like 13, 14. You know, when, when you're growing up, you're 13, 14, you start, you know, a bit PG 13 stuff on the internet when I was like 13, 14. Ah! Go hit me up. So, I was a fucking idiot and I didn't know how to just type in porn to the fucking Google, right? So, instead, my only <laughs> way of knowing about kind of like raunchy stuff, and I was like, go meet, go meet single ladies in your area. I'm like, shit, man. That's just what I want. I want to meet single ladies in my area. God damn, right? So like, what's your username? I didn't have to sign up. It was just what's your username? Put my username as Sexy Beast Fourteen. Not fucking joking. Sexy Beast Fourteen. Might have seen me around the place as ladies. You might have. Anyway, no. This is the actual part of the story though, because it was back in the day. I didn't know how to delete my uh, history. My mum used laptop on Google. Finds Sexy Beast Fourteen and says, "Hey, come down here." Like, yeah, what's up? So, um, ooh, sexy beast. The thing is, she went, I don't think she was that bothered. She was just like, and she was just taking the piss. Like, I think for a week or two, she called me sexy beast. <laughs> oh, baby. She explodes now. I'm, in the bit, I'm gonna back off. There we go, exactly. If I was right close to it, I'd just like walk behind, not notice there's lava there. Oh, that's a bit of, okay, that's a bit too much there, can you? Case and fucking point. I'm not joking. They literally are 20 minute fights. And that's why I level health so much in these runs because there's nothing worse than getting 15 minutes in and getting one shot by a big combo. <laughs> mm. I better look like an absolute geek. Like, eh, eh. But I feel like a fucking champion. I'm not gonna lie, boys. Ding dong, baby. I hope you've been, been showing, showing your pussy, pussy tonight. Gonna try and jump for me here. 
and he can't get me because he's a big dumb fuck. <gasps> so many people in the last I I IGN video have said to me, Lenny, you shout too much. That's the in-game sound effect. I'm sorry. Complaining saying I shout too much. Look, look at me. He goes, <gasps> That's the in-game sound effect. I don't think really you fucking stop fucking complaining. Yeah. Well, I want that little meme on screen. And what's, that, what's that meme on the screen? Like, <laughs> Mayonnaise on an escalator. I want that on screen. Thank you. Thanks for editing that in, Lenny. A lot of people always say to me, like, oh, Lenny, what's your favourite Dark Souls game? I, I, like, I always like to say one. I've got a lot of good memories. I think my most, the biggest memory of Dark Souls one I've ever had is this bit here where you go down to Blight Town, you're stuck down in Blight Town for days, you finally go up this elevator and you hear the Phylic Shrine music. And it's like, you've been down in Blight Town for fucking days and days, but because you can't teleport, and I think that's important, to finally get out and that music comes in, you're like, oh, I wanna thank Jesus. It's a fucking strong moment and I love it. And I always, I always remember that moment. That's like, that was the moment I think Dark Souls, I was like, yeah, this game is sick. Oh, hello, sticker girl, do you, want, do you wanna see me go? Puny compared to my life bar. Pathetic even. People thought I was gonna die there for a joke. It's not happened. What do you mean? 100% intentional. I got shot by a crossbow. I was about to dodge, boom, and hit with a crop. Go back and fucking watch it again. Half moon, RS. Well, let's go down to your gameplay channel, yeah? Let's go about let's go down to your gameplay channel. What you fucking die in Dark Souls? Prick? Are you Dorito Killer? Is that Dorito Killer's alt? What's going on? Can I just remind you, it's really fucking exhausting doing this. You might be wondering why I'm not just doing Sense Fortress now. And that's because the best broken sword that we can get reasonably is the lightning broken sword, which ascends from a plus 10 broken sword. Boom, bam, boom. Bit fucking cheeky. Now, if we went to the giant blacksmith with a plus five and bought the large titanite from the blacksmith, he, for some reason, cannot ascend weapons from a plus five to a plus six. So we have to fuck about, go down to the depths, get the plus 10 ember, then make it a plus six, and then we can go to Anolondo. Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper. Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Hamburger, Mac cheese. Whopper. Gimme, gimme, fuck off! No, let's see what gosh you got. Nah, nah, I don't want out. She's got fuck all. <laughs> I'm gonna redefine Soul's history right now. Watch me fucking smash this. Boom, fuck off. And then, no fucking. Hello, big sticky boy. Don't scare me. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people are going to be asking me, Lenny, 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 you're wasting time here. Yes, I am, because of these fucking hitboxes. Am I playing. Wait, am I playing Dark Souls 2? I've been playing Dark Souls 2 all this time. This is so embarrassing. Uh, okay, I'm sorry guys, we're going to change up to Dark Souls 1 now. That's good as well, I'll get a lot of exercise doing this. This is quite heavy, I weighed it up. It's actually 5.5 kilos. Like a 5.5 dumbbell isn't much, but imagine flinging it around in your arm for like three hours in a row. Meh, meh, fucking meow. Fucking hell. <sighs> McDonald's! Oh, fuck this. Oh, fuck it, I'm done. Fuck you, I'm done. Day three. We were coming up to the halfway point in the run, and at this point, I was pretty comfortable. At first, yeah, the broken sword thing was really hard, but now I was pretty comfortable with it all. So, I decided to throw one more thing into the mix to really spice things up. Yeah, I've got a dance pad down there now. I regret, <laughs> I instantly regret this. How am I meant to roll and move at the same time? Like. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking fall over. <laughs> this is hard. How am I meant to do a running jump here? I'm gonna lose these 40k souls, aren't I? Go, 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 no, go, 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 go. Let's go! Well, run's dead. Oh, fuck. Look, forget about the souls. I don't even get out of bed for less than 40k souls, mate. You wake me up and there's like fucking 100k souls on the floor, mate. Wake me up then. Oh, no. I've gone too far. Forward a bit. Forward a bit. Oi! Okay, go for me. Jump for me, jump for me, jump for me, jump for me! Yes! Okay. Okay, we have a chance. Jump attack, jump back a bit, jump attack, jump attack! Yes! Okay. Oh, my heart's going okay. I'm gonna fall off if I don't act. I'm gonna fall off if I don't act now. Wait, don't tell me. Jump for me, jump for me! Oh my god! Camera. Oof. That wasn't the camera 
button. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> you guys can see Guinevere's feet, though. I don't think I can save this. I think I'm done, aren't I? Oh my god, where do I go? Wait, can I actually save it? Oh, I'm done. We're gonna jump here. Oh, <laughs> Rubble Lenny! Talk to me! I wish I knew how I'm on a dance pad. Mate, how do I talk to you? I'm on a dance pad here. I have a good Oh shit! Oh, God, <laughs> and now we can't afford 40k souls. Well, guys, I was going to save this for another video. You know, I kind of feel bad about this. Okay, I'm going to admit it. Truth is, guys. I've kind of discovered something game-breaking. It might turn the speedrunning community on its head. It might change the way Dark Souls is speedrun forever. Gasp is right. I fucking need it. I'm gonna do it. Here it is, guys. You go to the pot here. You face the wall. Turn around. Five spaces to the camera. One, two, three, four, five exactly. Position the camera, down, 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 and then, okay, and then you wait exactly 24 seconds on the nose. 23, 24! Oh my God, first try. Don't believe it. Submit this to Awesome Games Done Quick 2030. I'll be there. Just give me a call in time, Awesome Games Done Quick. I'll come down and show you how it's fucking done, mate. Don't worry about that one. We are going full fucking send. Dance pack and Wiimote. There he is, the big fat bastard. What you do is you just like jumped off this little thing and just like broke his neck on impact. Boom. What's over? Good job there, mate. See, one on one with smoke, it's fucking fine. But Ornstein gets his fucking skinny ass involved like that. Oh, fuck. To the right. Forward. Dodge that and dodge game for We were here doing this for around about two or three hours. It was a lot harder than I thought. However, something finally happened, which I bet a lot of you thought would happen. I actually injured myself, but not with the broken sword. You know how at the start of the stream I said I wouldn't hurt myself? That was on the dance pad though. How has the dance pad done that? Is it a bit fucking weird that the most dangerous thing in this video is a fucking dance pad? I'd like to have done more today, but oopsie. If I get demonetized for this, I think you can't. Look, you hurt yourself with a sword. It was the fucking pad. Don't believe it. Piece of fucking shit. Day four. Now, unfortunately, guys, due to Twitch terms of service and probably YouTube as well, I did have to stop with the dance pad because I maybe could have hurt myself and I don't like that. But at least we did the rafters, which is probably the hardest thing anyway, so shut the fuck up. Don't do that to me, don't do that. Oh, my legs, my legs are, I'm actually fucking shaking. And with Small Nonstein finally beat, we were fully in our stride and it was all downhill from here. It's comedy fucking goal. Look, you'd think by the fourth day it would get old. It doesn't, it gets fucking even better. I'm just a little eggy. Leave me alone. And then the blood comes in and goes, what the fuck? And that cutscene ends right there. It, people, why do people say I shout so much? It's the fuck, did you, did you, me and you not play the same game? Fuck it. No, fuck it, I'm just gonna blow up this fucking nest. Fuck them off. Yeah, I think Varty covered this one time. These guys are obviously praying here, they're all praying. So if you're actually joining the line, angle the camera just there so you can see them praying. And then you go. Ah, oh, Lenny, you got me. Oh, man. Imagine the same setup and the same joke. People saying I've killed the Robo Voice. People saying Robo Lenny's not in the videos anymore. Watch it. Watch him coming right now. Piece of the shit. Come to my channel saying, oh, RIP Robo Voice then, because the Bloodborne guy. Watch him. He's right there. Oh, shit, sucker. It's hot, hot, hot. Help, please. You got the kill. No. People are wondering where the fucking robot voice has gone. I'm gonna be fair, I killed it months ago, but <laughs> I'm sorry, lad, I'm sorry. Dot HRG oh. RG and finally I found it me. Son, my day, day. My yes. Yes, I. Oh on. Regret Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. I take it back. Sorry, man. Oh fuck! Hey! 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Just joking, sucker, get dunked on, bitch. We've been through a lot, mate. Brian, you know? on holiday, please leave me uh, alone. This, you know, this might be the last thing I say to you for a while. Who, 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 shut the fuck up. I just want to say this. Oh, we're our first time. I wake up and it's first time fucking everything, let's be honest with you. Turn around. Get the camera just right here. Oh! Okay, not gonna lie, I... I didn't believe it'd be first time, but it fucking actually might be. <laughs> oh! Oh God! Get this fucking bonfire right up my ass. Boom! Right up my ass there. First time fucking Wii Remote. Better chaos. Don't ask how, because I don't fucking know. Stinking mama, come over here and give me a sushi. Welcome to Los Angeles, Los Angeles. <laughs> there we go. That I love. These people are a threat. First dwindling. Ooh. I just feel bad. Look at the dog! I feel better now. Look at the dog, guys! Watch me redefine Dark Souls history right now. <gasps> now! No! That was close! That was close! No negative Nancys in the chat and comments. Boom, fuck off. If I get one comment saying, oh, you shit at this skip, aren't you? I'm gonna delete the video. The only thing I wanna see in the comments is this word for word. Oh, wow, lady, that skip was really hard, especially on Nunchuck. By the way, Sexy Beast 14 was a great name for when you were a kid and trying to pick up girls. I, I would have fallen for it. Look, I don't care whereabouts you are in the world right now. I don't care if you're watching this live or on YouTube. I need your fucking energy. I don't care if it's 3 a.m. in like Australia where you're watching this. I want you to shout at the computer. Go. Boom, bam, standard, back, back, go. Oh! What the fuck? No, 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 what is this? Back steps, I've tried, it, it's, I don't, I think it's the properties here, I'm just like at a wall, basically. I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to have to do this. Okay, boys. I'm going in. Oh fuck, I'm still stuck! It didn't work! Watch me. Oh! Oh! We're in, boys! We're gonna be sipping mojitos in Tahiti in no time! That's it, boys. We've just had the fucking government. He comes in like, GET OUT! That's the, the in-game sound effects. I don't know why you guys complain. Oh, he's fucking dead. What a waste of fucking time. No, 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 no. No! I've got something a bit special. Now, I can't see how this can go wrong. Blindfold with a sword swinging about my room. It, it can't go wrong. There it is. Forward, 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 lock on. Forward, 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 forward. Stop moving. Okay, okay, dodge, dodge. Okay, I'm locked off. Turn around, camera, go. Bollocks, roll, go. Get in! Fuck, I'm fucking that go! Yes! Guys, you know, Dark Souls is like a really cool, like, adventure RPG. Sometimes it gets like a bit dark, you think, ooh, it's all scary, you think, ooh, it's all dark. What are you gonna, what's gonna happen? It's like so, so scary, it's doing the giants, whoa. What's that? It's so fucking scary, this. What's going on? Ah! Don't shout at me saying I scream too much. It's scary. Pussy bitch. Kick. I can't. How do I kick? Oh my fucking god, that's the only person in Souls history who has ever been hit by Nito's grab attack. Thank you, thank you. I'm here all week. Go for the DPS. Fuck it, fuck it. Try me, bitch. Fucking try me. Fuck it. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna be honest with you all, I've done like hundreds of broken sword runs. And at this point, it was all pretty easy for me. Once I got used to the controls, it was just like another day in the office for me. However, there was one thing which is really starting to take effect now. During this whole thing, my arm was hurting more and more, and that's probably due to me not holding the weight of the sword properly in my hands. And yeah, at this point, my arm was really hurting. I took one last final break and decided it's now or never. I have to finish this run before my body literally stops me. 
That fucker is not, he's not going fucking anywhere now. We've only got four kings, DLC, three bosses, and finale. Should be fucking no issue. If you've got an issue, get a fucking tissue though, knobhead. So what the four kings is, a game like knowledge wise, is a DPS check. What the idea is, if you don't do enough DPS, that you get, you get overrun. Like seven, not even four kings, like seven kings spawn, and you just can't fight that, it's ridiculous. However, with the broken sword, obviously we can't DPS. The main idea is that if you get attacked by the, the swords or whatever, you flinch, you have to stagger, you have to roll, time wasting. So by where we have ult, it's a pretty significant DPS increase. And people go and complain, and for the fucking haters I say this. And hopefully that's convinced you. And now we're in. So now we're going to go like boom. And now by the hilt, I only take a little tiny bit of damage by the hilt. And now here, I get to just like do attacks, waste my stamina, get my stamina bar back. How optimal I'm playing is I'm, I'm burning all my stamina when it does an explosive. So I can regain stamina while I can't do anything about it. Oh, the other one got a shot in there. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's, a, that's bad. That's, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, this is, oh, I might die. Okay, this is where it gets bad. This is just messy now. It's just all sorts of messy. Fuck off, lads! I had fucking enough of this! I uh, Fuck! Fucking hell! <sighs> As you can see, boys and girls, without the half here, it <laughs> might have been a bit fucked. Oh! And that's the cutscene cut just ends there. It's, it's, it's really actually quite gruesome. Oh dear! I know what doggy contender! Too funny. <laughs> no. Go on! Come on, then, prick! Go on, then! Go on, then, prick! Leveling up that fitness, yeah, fitting this dick in your mouth, <laughs> And we finally made it to the final boss. Gwyn doesn't count because he's a little bitch. And Manus, I would say, was the hardest one on this run. And yeah, stuff like Ornstein, Four Kings were really challenging technically, but I think Manus encompassed all the finesse and all the accuracy that you have to possess here too. It was a real challenge. I was here for about three or four hours. Small Ornstein, Nito, they was kind of very fucking annoying because of the- Oh! Oh! That's the cutscene. Ah, that's the cutscene. Shit. Really awesome. No script! No cat! Sheesh! That's a lot of range! Shit, boys. We died. If only it was a quick way to get back to this fucking boss without wasting anyone's time. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. The one, you can't go on the jamba. Yeah, I'm dead here. I'm doing, oh wait, I'm not dead! Ah! Fuck! My lord. Oh wait! Fucking Jesus! <laughs> yeah, I kinda wanna win now. I have a feeling this is gonna get really fucking tasty, boys! Come on! He's in that last bit, he's in that last bit! Go on! I'm getting greedy. I'm gonna wait for a third there. None of that, none of that, none of that, none of that, mate. Yeah, go on! Ha! Huh? Go on! Fucking yeah, go on! Talk to me, baby! Go on! Fucking yes! Oh, God, my arm's heavy. Oh, fucking God. Oh, my arm. I'm like Artorius right now. My arm's just fucking giving in. If it's just like Dark Souls, it's just like my Artorius. Get this sub to Barty video shit. Don't do any Funko Pop shit. Don't fucking show me your Funko Pop collection. That was a fucking funky shit, win. None of that! Wake up and give me a nice little fucking 2 one do one Tesco meal deal. No! Give me the, give me the Tesco meal deal. Give me the Tesco meal deal. Give me it. Give me it. Go on. Yes. God. Dark Souls one on a real broken sword, and I want to do it for all time's sake. This is real iron. Weighs about 5.5 .5 kilos. It is fucking GG, boys. And you know what? If I had to sum this all up, as always, boys, it was good. Apart from it was shit, it's been an absolute treat. <laughs> Watch this. Fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, I've actually just, I've put a hole in, I've put, okay, I've put a hole in the wall. Oh.